Hello everyone, David A. Cox here with PCClassesOnline.com, and today we are going to be talking about how you can synchronize your music from your computer to another device, such as an iPhone, an iPod, or an iPad. Now to do this, of course, we're going to be using iTunes, and by the way, the reason why we're doing this class is we do listen to your emails. We received at least five requests from different people saying, would you please talk about how to synchronize music? So here you go. By the way, if you have a future request, I try to make myself very accessible to all of you. My email is david at pcclassesonline.com. So to do this, we're going to be using iTunes. Now we have taught iTunes in the past. The problem that we ran into though was that we never had an iPod that we could use for demonstration purposes. So luckily today we do have one. It's on my desk. So let's get going. Of course, we're opening up iTunes to do this. And before I show you how to synchronize your music, there's a couple of little tricks that I would like to share with you in case you don't know them. It's going to make this process a lot easier. Now, one of the main problems people had when Apple released the latest version of iTunes, which again, as of today's date, is version 11, was that this sidebar that you see on the left-hand side of my screen was removed by default. The good news, though, is that you can bring it back. It's very easy to do so. Just go up here to the top of your screen where it says View, and click here. Right now on my screen, it says Hide Sidebar. If you currently do not have it open, it will say Show Sidebar. It just makes it a lot easier when it comes to moving music from your library into your playlist, which we're going to go over right now. Now, there's different ways that you can technically synchronize your music. Some people have a lot of space on their phone and they don't really have a lot of music, so they can just synchronize everything from their computer so they have an identical copy of it on their mobile device. I don't do that, and most of you probably don't need to do that. I don't need every single song that's on here. I really only care about a handful of songs that I want to have with me. And the best way to do that, the best way to sync that, is to use a playlist. And the way you create a playlist is very simple. Just click here at the very bottom left of your screen. You'll see a little plus symbol. There's three different options that you'll see here. We have New Playlist, New Smart Playlist, and New Playlist Folder. For this, we're going to use New Playlist, the very first option. Now, when you do that, you'll see up here we can rename the playlist. By default, it's called Playlist. So let's just type in Show Tunes as an example. Now, currently, there are no songs in Show Tunes, so we have to tell the computer what songs we want to go there. And to do this, we're going to go up here to the Music Library, which is at the very top left of your screen. Now, to do this, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can either take individual songs and manually drag them and drop them. You'll see that little green plus symbol into your playlist. Or if you have taken some of our other classes, we have talked in the past about how to select multiple items. I'll go over it briefly now. If you want to bring a bunch of random songs all at once, for those of you who are on a Mac, here's the way you're going to do it. You're going to hold the command key on your keyboard. And when you do so, you're going to be able to select multiple items. So now, when you go and click and drag a song, you see that little number five? It's kind of covered over right now by my cursor. But now I am moving five songs all at once into show tunes. For those of you who are on a PC, the process is the exact same, except instead of you don't have a command key, instead you're going to use the control key. Now, the other way that you can do this, by the way, let's say there's a list of songs all in a row that you want to move. And this is the same, by the way, for both Mac and PC. Click on the first song that you would like to select, and this time you're going to hold the shift key on your keyboard and click on the last song. Now when I go to do that, of course it selects everything in between. By the way, what I have just showed you applies to the entire computer. If you wanted to select a whole bunch of emails, that's how you do it. If you wanted to select a whole bunch of photos, it's the same process. So now when I go and I drag those, you can see now I have however many that says. I think it's 10 songs. Now we're going to get to the part where we're going to start synchronizing these playlists with the iPod. And to do this, I have already plugged in my iPod. Here on the left-hand side under Devices, it says PC Classes Online iPod. Now this screen here will look slightly different based on what device you have. So, But for the part we're going to go over, it's going to be the same for all of you. We're going to click up here at the very, very top of the screen, and you'll see here there's a tab called Music. 
So now what we're going to do is click where it says sync music and this is the part where you can tell it how to sync. Do you want it to sync the entire library? Most people don't have enough room. Instead we're going to do selected playlists. And all we have to do, this is the final step, is here at the top left window we're going to check the different playlists that we would like to synchronize. When you're done, click the apply button and it's going to put all of those songs onto your iPod, iPod, iPhone, or iPad. The other great part about doing this is over time you're going to download more and more music, whether it's online or from CDs that you inherit from people. Now, what you can do is as you get that new music, you can add it to these playlists. And once you've done that, and then plug in your iPod, iPhone, or iPad, it's going to automatically update and it's going to put those new songs into your device. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. I hope that answered a whole bunch of questions that you all had. Again, we try to make ourselves accessible to you guys. David at PCClassesOnline.com is the best way to reach me. For any of you out there who maybe just discovered this on YouTube, please check out our website. We are a free public service, and we'll hope to see you all in our live classes soon. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.